Hey everyone and welcome back for an update so in the last video I installed the diagonal rods, the effector, hot end together with the belts and the top of the frame also mounted the uh, end stops and everything but I did forget to mount the extruder and the spool holder so I had to redo some stuff but that's fixed right now so now as you can see we have a bunch of wires down here that need to go to the rams board so now it's time we're going to plug them all in so what i did first was plug in the rams board onto the arduino it's fairly simple just make sure you don't bend any pins when pushing it in then i mounted it on a printed bracket so it sits nice and secure next you plug in your stepper drivers oh before you do that make sure you have all these jumpers in underneath for micro stepping then you can push in the stepper drivers Make sure the potentiometer is on the top away from the green connector else you will blow them up. Now let's give the printer an orientation with this being the front. So then we have X, Y and Z coordination and we keep that for everything motor and stops. Now let's plug in the X motor so I marked also my connectors so it's easy to identify and you make less mistakes so plug in your X stepper motor in the first with the black cable towards the green connector that's the first Take your Y motor on the right side and you will plug it next to the X one. Next take the Z one and if your motor is spinning the wrong way just flip the connector over. That's our Z one so now we have three motors connected. The last one will be the extruder motor and this will plug in right here like so now the motors are done next in line are the end stops so again start with your x1 x end stop plug it in the first header here next the Y and that will be the third row and then comes the Z And that will be the fifth row. And then you maybe have the auto level probe. Or you don't. And then you will have another end stop on your effector. And that will plug in the sixth row. So we have four end stops connected now. What we can plug in next is the thermistor from the hot end. That will fit in here. 
first. Two pens. Now as you can see I already cleaned up some of the wire mess. Makes it a bit easier. So next we are going to connect our hot end. It's this one here. Now that they are secure, take your wires from your power supply. I'm using a 12 volt 20 amp. Well, it's a power supply for actually LEDs, but it work, works just fine. So, first comes the negative. Then comes the positive. We're also gonna connect our hot end fan directly onto the power supply so it's always on. Make sure they are tight and not coming loose. Then comes the second set of power wires. Again, black or the negative first. And the positive. And secure them. Now that you have your power supply connected to the ramps, it's a good time to check all your connections. Make sure you didn't connect wrong polarities and then there's one thing left and that is the LCD monitor so take your adapter piece and plug it in the front of those pins like this next take your LCD screen and plug in your wires let's put them through the beams And last, plug them in. If your screen is not working, just flip them over. And that's uh, it, now you have a working printer, well not yet but if you don't need a, or if you don't use a heated bed that's what you need to do. I will be connecting my heated bed also but for now if you're sure you did all the connections right you can power you can power on uh, your printer
fan starts blowing, so that's a good sign. Castle is ready. As I said before, I'm using a heated build plate, so we have to place the thermistor onto the glass plate, nice in the center, and then tape it down with some captain tape. Then we're taking the connector of the thermistor and plug it in right next to the thermistor of the hot end. Now take the last two wires coming from the heated build plate and screw them in the blue connector. Nice and tight so uh, the wires don't come loose. And yeah, that's about it for the electronics part. We now have everything connected. Last thing to do is place the heated build plate on top, download some software and start calibrating. Again, thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions left, leave them in the comments. Or just thumbs up the video if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys next time.